this is Faraz Himan. Uh, today we have another important topic that is called as <coughs> leptose process or it is called as Wells disease. You again get a lot of questions on the Wells uh, in the exam so you should uh, read it and read it well. So in which people it happens? It happens in those people who are a sewage workers, those who are farmers, those who are having contact with the fish these are the people who are the major sufferer of this disease it's transmitted through a leptospiria and they transmit it once you come in contact with those infected red urine of that leptospiria so when it happens they they transfer into your body and uh, what are the major organs they affect they affect the kidneys and they affect your liver Hence, they tend to cause renal failure and tend to cause jaundice. So, in scenario, you need to see uh, these uh, the renal failure and the jaundice, since these are the very important symptoms, very specific symptoms of the valves. Other symptoms can be flu-like symptoms. There could be headache. And remember, you can have subconjunctival hemorrhage and some hemorrhagic tendency because you lose the platelet function. Uh, so that's why you will have those purpurine petechies. And in severe state, you might get enlargement of the liver and the spleen as well. How will we treat? We will treat them with benzyl penicillin or doxycyclines. Other options can be cefadoxime and ceftriaxone. But remember, uh, how I remember the treatment for leptose process is LP. L for like LP means lumbar puncture. So L for leptose process, P for the penicillin. So this is one way of remembering the leptose process. Uh, thank you very much and uh, please subscribe my channel for more videos.